The Oklahoma Sooners have had a really interesting week, losing on five-star wide receiver Luther Burden, but Lincoln Riley and company showed us why they weren't stressing, and today we get news that the number one wide receiver in the nation in the class of 2023, Brandon Ennis, has committed to the Oklahoma Sooners, and we need to talk about what this means. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill, I want to hear from y'all. Hop down the comments, give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you excited that Ennis is now a part of the Sooners class? Let me know what you're thinking there. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And I have a lot of cool stuff planned for the upcoming season that I would love to have you be a part of the journey for. And if you did enjoy this content, be sure to like and comment down below. But with all that being said, let's talk about this. And let's talk about the week that Oklahoma has had. First, you lose on five-star wide receiver Luther Burden. And at the time, I made a video highlighting that Oklahoma Oklahoma is in a really interesting spot because they are one of a handful of teams, and I do mean a handful, there's not many, that could have a talent at the level of Luther Burden is, decommit and not be stressed. And the reason is very simple. It's two things. First and foremost, when you look at the talent Oklahoma currently has on roster at wide receiver, it's mind-blowing. They have one of the most loaded wide receiver rooms in the nation from top to bottom, and when we look at the true freshmen they just got in from last class, headlined by Mario Williams, who we're very excited to see play this year based on the reviews we've heard from the coaching staff and Spencer Rattler when they've gotten to talk to the media, there's a lot of excitement around that Oklahoma wide receiver room this year, and deservedly so. So the Oklahoma Sooners already have a slam-packed wide receiver room, something that they are very adamant about getting involved this year, and it looks to be an absolute key piece to this team in the 2021 season. But the second reason why the coaching staff wasn't worried at all is when you look forward to the class of 2023. The class of 2023 right now, I mean, what can we say about it? They are off to such an unbelievable start for the Sooners, and adding in Brandon Ennis is another cherry on top of a class filled with the cherry on top. Whether we're talking about Malachi Nelson, Luke Haas, and now Brandon Ennis, the Oklahoma Sooners are putting on an offensive recruiting clinic in that class of 2023, and it doesn't look to end there. There are so many dudes that the Sooners are in very high contention for in that class of 2023, it's going to be very interesting to see how it works out going forward. But one of the key things in that class of 2023 that I really want to highlight to go along with Brandon Ennis is another individual in that class, and that's Malachi Nelson. Malachi Nelson being a top-rated quarterback for the Sooners and their quarterback for the class of 2023 is incredibly important for a few reasons. Let's get the obvious out of the way right now. Let's talk about his talent. And Malachi Nelson, if you remember back to a video I did a little while ago on him, I broke down the top-rated quarterback since 2000 in the recruiting era rankings. And Malachi Nelson is tied for a top 10 placement at that 10 position, albeit, but tied for one of the top 10 quarterbacks since 2000. That is rarefied air. And when you put it in that perspective, it makes absolute sense why these top-level wide receivers are adamant about getting to play with him. You don't just have quarterbacks at his talent level come around every single year. And if you do, you're trying to get them a part of your class. But it's not surprising that someone such as Lincoln Riley was able to get in Malachi Nelson. Lincoln Riley has been a quarterback guru. There's really not another way to put it. Just look at the lineage, and it has been unbelievable. Spencer Rattler looks to be in for an incredible year. Pro Football Focus tabbed him as the number one player going into this year, and multiple other outlets have followed it up with a very similar type rating, him being the number one player going into this year. And it's for a few reasons. First, he is incredibly talented, but second, it's who his quarterback coach is and who's the guy calling his offense, Lincoln Riley. We know what Lincoln Riley does with quarterbacks, and you can bet your bottom dollar that these receivers and these commitments and these recruiting battles, they know what it is that Lincoln Riley quarterbacks do as well. They know that if they go to Oklahoma with some of these top-level quarterbacks, they're going to be playing under a very successful system with a very successful quarterback that is proven with multiple different individuals. And I think that the biggest thing going for Lincoln Riley that really doesn't get brought up a lot uh, enough, in my opinion, is the stylistic differences at which he's had success at the quarterback position. This is a guy who can just make a system work for the quarterback he has. That's the type of system we are talking about. And that that's why Lincoln Riley is so highly regarded 
with quarterbacks because he can do a system and make a quarterback successful no matter the stylistic differences in which they play. He's had a really dual threat guy that can hurt you with both his legs and his arms in Kyler Murray. More of a typical quarterback in your Baker Mayfield. You had a guy who is more of a power run quarterback in Jalen Hurts who really came along as a passer under Lincoln Riley. Now you have Spencer Rattler who's not as mobile as Kyler Murray but he isn't able to hurt you both ways. And it's a little bit different than Kyler Murray. Let's make no mistake about it. Kyler would just take off, and he was probably the fastest guy on the field. Spencer uses his mobility to spring plays down the field for his wide receivers. But if you are a wide receiver, that's music to your ears. You're plenty happy about that. So it isn't really surprising when we're hearing these top-level offensive players gravitating towards the Sooners. It kind of makes sense, and it goes in line with something I've said before on this channel. When you hear a top-level offensive player commit to an institution like the Oklahoma Sooners, all you can really do is sit back and go, yeah, that makes sense, right? Like, I, that completely makes sense. They have a history of being very, very highly regarded with offensive players, and Alex Grinch is really bringing that defense along. So that's something we have to continue watching because that is a really intriguing piece to the Sooners in this 2021 campaign. I am incredibly interested in hearing from y'all because the Sooners are having a master class in recruiting in that class of 2023, headlined by Malachi Nelson. And I think that when we're talking about those coming into the class of 2023 for the Sooners, it is in large part because what it is Lincoln Riley does with that system, what it is OU is looking to build towards in the future, and what it is they have at the quarterback position in that class. One of the nation's top quarterbacks, who's also a top 10 quarterback in the modern era of recruiting. That right there is huge. Hop down in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See you.